This clip is taken from America's Got Talent Season 17. We all know Simon Cowell isn't an easily impressed judge, but only if you saw his face after this act. The whole panel, including Heidi Klum and Howie Mandel, could not hide the awe on their faces. Things got even spicier when Christy Steller joined the Mayas. They took the whole stage by fire. Sofia Vergara was among the few who couldn't stop admiring their performance. To explain to you what we were feeling over here. Thank you. It was the most beautiful, creative dancing I've ever seen. Pole dancing is the ultimate crossover between gymnastics and great exercise, and much more. It is certainly captivating. Every 90s action movie has a scene where the protagonist walks into a bar and a hot woman is around the pole. What if robots are taking over this job too? Imagine the bar scenes in your favorite series or movies. A woman clad in hot clothes raises the room temperature with her moves around the pole. Well, this task will now be carried out by robots. As weirdly as it may sound, this is a new reality. Hello everyone and welcome back to Artificial Science. Today, let's take a better look at the female humanoid robot whose pole dancing videos have been going viral recently. Of all the jobs in this world, there are only a few that we thought would never be replaced. Pole dancing, stripping are a few. But what if you are told that scientists have taken up a new interest in making robots dance? And not just dancing, but performing all the dirty moves like twerking, grinding, and other things that a trained dancer does around a pole. This is one of the first humanoid robot pole dancing clips to go viral. Gills Walker designed the robot in 2008. People immediately expressed how weird it felt to see a humanoid robot pole dance. Comments include, enough internet for today, I've seen everything and others that indicate a robot pole dancing is the last thing anyone expects to witness. Since their foundation, robots have taken on a life of their own. Pictures and videos of them resurface online now and again, and Walker hires them to tech conferences, festivals, and other events. Although they seem straight out of a sci-fi movie, these bots aren't technologically too complex. They are modeled from shop mannequins and are powered by windscreen wiper motors, and their movements controlled by short, predefined loops. This is another 2019 recording from Nantes, France. Just look at her moves, damn. Donning high heels and standing on elevated platforms at a dimly lit club, humanoid robots moved their hips as they pole danced for a small gathering, but millions more watched it online. The popularity of such clips has been so much that manufacturers are using targeted advertisements stating female humanoid robots' ability to dance. They give the robot a sexy woman's body and hair to make an easy sale. This post here is about the model version of the same female humanoid pole dancing robot. Does she look smoking hot? I think so. The tech industry is only beginning to come to terms with its long history of ingrained sexism and discrimination. Some might see sexualized robots at a tech fair as an example of the bro culture that has partly contributed to these problems. Nevertheless, the sexier the robots are, the more it sells. Dancing is one of the most demanding and elegant physical activities a person can indulge in. So if these robots can dance, what else will they be capable of doing? Every time a robot makes an online appearance, people are curious. The launch of Sophia in 2015 raised the roof of what robots can achieve. Sophia, can you tell me a joke? Sure. What cheese can never be yours? What cheese can never be mine? I don't know. No Sophia is a social humanoid robot created by Hanson Robotics. It can track faces, maintain eye contact, and recognize people. Google's Alphabet offers a speech recognition mechanism. The robot is designed such that it will get smarter over time. So technology has emerged where robots casually adapt and evolve. Does this mean we should slowly recognize them as a new race? Among the many entrepreneurs who are newly investing in robotics and AI, Elon Musk and Tesla have shown their keen interest too. 
Tesla instead built an emotional companion who would potentially be your new best friend or girlfriend. This humanoid bot will possess human-like physical and emotional capabilities and has what it takes to become your best buddy. Sometimes all we ask is a person to talk to who understands and empathizes with us. This bot, which will still only be a prototype, will supposedly be very similar to a bright young woman who can indulge in deep conversations and answer your queries. And she is multilingual, speaking English, Russian, Spanish and French. The realistic 3D animation and excellent voice recognition technologies will make you feel like you are talking to a real girl. And not just any girl, but a super girl. She can speak, caress and even make you feel better when you are at your lowest. We already discussed how robots need to be considered a separate race. Does that mean they should be able to compete separately as well? Maybe one day there will be robots with unique personalities and capabilities. We already have our viral pole dancing robot. What goes trending tomorrow could be a robot that performs an onstage opera. So if robots are getting more and more talented with enhancements in technology, should we start hosting reality shows for robots too? Imagine having a separate America Got Talent spin-off featuring only robots. Would you still want Simon Cowell, Howie Mandel and Heidi Klum as your jury? Would Terry Crews still be the host? He is sure built like a robot. Simon Cowell put together One Direction. Boot camp. We've decided to put you through to the judge. This is a lifeline. You've got a real shot here. Maybe he can conjoin a few robots and create a whole orchestra. Every robot video on the internet gets many millions of likes and comments, so imagine an entire reality show featuring robots. This is probably a multi-million dollar idea. Is owning a dancing robot a flex? How much would you pay to have one? People pay huge sums for their guilty pleasures. Maybe this robot gives a new reason for people to cash in. Would you set up a pole in your courtyard so the whole neighborhood can see your new dancing humanoid robot twerk? Well, it will surely catch some attention. It may sound like a joke, but this clip shows people's seriousness about robots around a pole. This video is a presentation of Vogel's pole dancing robot. It's from 2020. So we are living in a world where our best minds are there, goal fixed, to make a robot pole dance. And this isn't even a satire. Can you guess this location? The City of Sins, Las Vegas. Even Vegas couldn't resist the charm of pole dancing robots, and as you can see, these are mere bots around a pole. What if they were given the curves of a woman, or a sexy man? Wouldn't that interest the minds of many more? There are chances the next time you visit Vegas, your lap dance will be performed by a humanoid bot, and not an actual human. Would you complain, or will it feel just the same? There's no doubt humanoid robots will be an inseparable part of our world, in the future. And yet, there's still no sure way we can predict the outcome. We are yet to find out how it will shape our lives. Will it make us lazier? Will this cure transform the entertainment industry? Does the existence of female robots pose a threat to the human race? Will you watch AGT Season 18 featuring robots? The questions keep on coming, but we're confident that things never imagined before will eventually become our reality. Here we've come to the end of the video. Let us know your take on the humanoid robots in the comments. When are you buying yours? Are you a person looking forward to dancing with your humanoid robot? Kindly like this video and leave your thoughts, and we'll see you in another exciting video.